Today there's uh, plenty of scientific evidence to support uh, Confucius. The art, uh, more than the science, is more about how to translate the science into classroom activities. Uh, what I mean by that is how do you as a teacher actually motivate uh, students to interact, to actually do, so that the knowledge that's being created is not just disseminated by the teacher, but it's created, it's basically co-created by everyone in the classroom. In contrast, uh, the teaching that takes the form of one person just talking to a group of people uh, for an entire session, so it's called one directional teaching, is not very effective um, because the knowledge is just being disseminated but not very well received on the other side. And science shows um, that uh, the knowledge is not virtually not retained at all beyond the session of the classroom. So you will not be able to use it or apply it in the future. In my view, there are two key skills you need as an effective teacher. Um, first of all, ideally, you need a good combination of um, academic knowledge, uh, which uh, gives you an idea or helps you define where you want this class to go and the path for an entire session, uh, so that you clearly define what is the outcome, define what the outcome is going to be. Um, and secondly, obviously, you need the means and the understanding and the creativity uh, to moderate a class along this path. That means being creative in terms of experimental designs, being creative in terms of interactions, um, and so on and so forth. And as a result of that, you can then use that knowledge that's being created in this co-creation process by everyone in the classroom to embed the knowledge that's being created in a structure. Finally, there's a kicker for teachers using the co-creation teaching method which is um, they also uh, retain a lot more knowledge. They learn a lot in those sessions. And science has shown that a lot of knowledge is retained by the teachers when they use co-creation teaching. And um, the, uh, the knowledge that's being retained is actually directly correlated um, to the multidisciplinary and the multicultural backgrounds of the students. So the more uh, disciplines you have in the classroom, the more cultures you have in the classroom, the more even the teachers are learned, which they can obviously apply then to the next cohort and the next cohort and the next session and the next classroom. In conclusion, uh, you're creating with the co-creation method, uh, you're creating smart students um, and happy teachers. <laughs>